Good evening, everyone. I'm Wen Xuanlong, the Joint Supervision PhD student of Chidi University in China and the University of Pisa in Italy. And my supervisors are Professor Ba Zhongsheng and Professor Rui Chen at the Xidi University, and the Professor Marco Moretti and Professor Luca Sanguinetti at the University of Pisa. And uh, firstly, please allow me to introduce myself. Um, I have been studying the graduate program for a master degree in the communication and information system at Xidian University since September 2017. And through the qualification exam, I have been studying the graduate program for the for a doctor degree in the information and communication engineering at Xidian University from March 2020 to now. And in October 2021, I became a joint supervision PhD student of Xidian University and the University of Pisa. And my speech in this time will focus on my PhD research subject. Uh, and uh, as we know, the 5G wireless communication systems has been uh, widely de deployed. And with the application of 5G networks, the researchers around the world has begun to focus their attention on the 6G wireless communication systems and uh, how to improve the spectral efficiency and energy efficiency of 6G wireless communication system is a key problem in the research of 6G uh, networks. And my research mainly focus on the new physical transmission dimensions for 6G wireless communication systems, uh, including the optical angular momentum wireless communications with a new degree of freedom, referred to as the OEM wireless communications, and uh, the reflective intelligent surface assisted MIMO networks with the wireless environment control capability, referred to as the race assisted MIMO networks. And uh, those, uh, those technologies may be the key to improve the spectral efficiency and energy efficiency of 6G uh, networks. And uh, I'm sorry. Uh, and maybe uh, I need first to explain what is OM communications. Uh, as we know, electromagnetic waves can carry not only linear momentum, but also angular momentum. And angular momentum includes spin angular momentum and the optical angular momentum. When the electromagnetic waves carry optical angular momentum, the face front of the electromagnetic wave will rotate with atomers and exhibiting a helical structure in the space, as shown in this finger. And we call this helical phase structure its OEM mode. Uh, due to inherent orthogonality among different OEM modes, this helical phase structure provides a new degree of freedom for information transmissions. And up to now, it has been reported in many papers that OEM wireless communications can achieve a high spectral efficiency by multiplexing a center of orthogonal OEM mode on the same frequency channel. And uh, however, there are still many technical challenges of OEM wireless communications. Firstly, in the experiment, we found that when the transmitted and received OEM beams are misaligned with even a small uplink angle, the OEM wireless communication systems will have a large performance loss. So uh, the OEM wireless communication requires the perfect alignment between the transmitted and received area in the system or at least the perfect alignment between the transmitted and the received OEM beams. And uh, through the experiment, we also found that the OEM channel uh, in the OEM communication system completely depends on the relative position between the transmitted and received areas in the system. Therefore, before the OEM beams alignment, we first need to obtain the relative position of the transmitted and received areas in the system. And uh, based on this, under the supervision of Professor Richen, I proposed an OEM-based distance and angle of arrival estimation method for the single user OEM communication system. We call it mode frequency multi-times its method. 
and by using the exploit method for the OEM signal in the frequency domain and the OEM mode domain, the relative position of the transmitted and received array in the system can be obtained. And compared with the existing method, this method has lower complexity and is easier to implement. And this paper has been published in the IEEE transactions on vehicular in the last year. And in this work, I realized the importance of the experiment for the research, because all the ideas and the conclusions of this paper are obtained through the experiment. And, uh, and another problem about OEM wireless communication is that all the existing signal detection methods are only available for the MIMO system. And how to detect OEM signal is another important challenge faced by the OEM wireless communications. And uh, in the experiment, we found that the OEM channel matrix can be diagonalized after the uh, aligning the transmitted and the received OEM beams. And the diagonal elements of the matrix uh, are only related to the distance between the transmitter and the receiver in the system. Therefore, uh, we proposed an OEM-based signal detection method. We designed the uh, OEM detection matrix only by the distance between the transmitter and the receiver in the system. And we call this method OEM-based amplitude detection method. And compared with the existing MIMO detection method, this method has lower complexity and is easier to implement. And this paper has been published in IEEE Globalcom in 2019. And in 2019, I also attended the IEEE Globalcom conference and do the presentation in Hawaii. And I think we should actively participate in various academic conference, which can not only show our research results uh, to other researchers, but also can learn about the latest research progress. And uh, after that, uh, under the supervision of Professor Richen, I proposed an overall scheme of the single user OEM communication systems based on the uniform circular array, including the generation of multi-mode OEM waves at the transmitter and the OEM-based distance and angle of arrival estimation and OEM beam steering and the multi-mode OEM detection uh, at the receiver. It should be noted that this is the first complete communication scheme for the single user OEM wireless communications. And more importantly, the proposed single user OEM communication scheme is extended to the uniform concentric circular array based OEM MIMO system. And this system achieves a higher spectral efficiency than the traditional MIMO OFDM system. And this paper has been published in IEEE Transaction on Wireless Communication in 2020. And uh, in this work, I realized that we should actively communicate with our supervisors and the researchers in the same research direction. Because after being revised by my supervisor, Professor Richen and Professor Xiaodong Wang at uh, Columbia University, the quality of this paper has been greatly improved. And uh, um, as far as we know, the research of OEM communication technology mostly focus on the single user OEM wireless communications and how to apply OEM communication technology to the multi-user scenario uh, has always been a difficult, a difficult problem. And to solve this problem, we also built a multi-user OEM transmission experiment to try to apply OEM communication technology to the multi-user scenarios. And uh, similar to the above result, we found that the channel of the multi-user OEM communication system completely depends on the position of the received areas in the system. And based on this, we propose an overall scheme of the downlink multi-user OEM wireless backhaul based on the uniform circular uh, array, including the OEM-based multi-user uh, 
uh, including the OEM-based multi-user distance and angle of arrival estimation and the multi-user OEM pre-processing as a transmitter. It should be noted that this scheme is the first multi-user OEM communication scheme with the receiver in any position. And similar to the above paper, the proposed multi-user OEM communication scheme is extended to the uniform concentric circular array-based multi-user OEM MIMO system. And this system achieves a higher spectral efficiency and energy efficiency than the traditional multi-user MIMO OFDM system. And this paper has been published in IEEE Transactions on Broadcasting in the last year. And uh, um, uh, here, I want to emphasize one point that uh, we need to use MATLAB when we doing simulations or experiment. So it is very important to learn this software well. And, uh, and next, um, and uh, uh, as we mentioned earlier, uh, whether in the single user OM communication system or in, in the multi-user OM communication system, the transmitter and the receivers in the system need to constantly to estimate relation, uh, re relative position between the transmitted and received areas in the process of communication, uh, which is very similar to the working process of reader. Therefore, we consider a joint OEM communication reader scheme, including the OEM-based uh, uh, distance and angle of arrival estimation of multiple targets and the specific target communication. And uh, this scheme can realize the uh, spectral sharing of the wireless communication and uh, uh, radar sensing service in the 6G networks. And uh, this work, is, uh, this paper is the work I have just completed, and it has been submitted to the IEEE transaction on wireless communications. Here, uh, I would like to say that when we are working on our PhD uh, research subject, we can first try a relative simple topic. Uh, such as the single user OEM communication scheme, and then gradually increase the difficulty and finally achieve a more perfect uh, scheme, such as the uh, uh, joint OEM communication reader scheme. And uh, my other research topic is about uh, risk assisted MIMO networks. As we know, in the exciting communication networks, the channel environment is uncontrollable. And it is one of the main reasons for limiting the rate of communication systems. And the risk assisted communications may be an effective method to solve this problem. Um, specifically, risk is a planar antenna area that consists of a large number of low cost passive reflecting elements. And each element can reconfigure the incident signals in real time and then reflect to the specific receiver to enhance signals. And up to now, it has been reported in many papers that risk assisted networks can achieve a high data rate and high spectral efficiency and energy efficiency by controlling the incident signals intelligently. And uh, in this research topic, under the supervision of Professor Marco Moretti and Professor Luca Sanguinetti at the University of Pisa, I completed a survey of risk assisted 6G wireless communication networks. And uh, this survey first summarized the blue point of risk assisted 6G networks, including the vision and the KPIs. And then we proposed a typical application of risk assisted MISIM MIMO systems. And uh, I believe this work can establish the basis for my future research on the risk assisted uh, MISIM MIMO networks um, at the University of Pisa. And uh, this work has been published in the Journal of Communication and Information Networks in the last year. Uh, here, I want to share with you uh, that in my opinion, uh, completing a survey is a very good way to understand the latest progress of our research topic. After completing this survey, I have a relatively perfect understanding of research in MIMO networks. And uh, 
up to now under the supervision of Professor Rui Chen, Professor Marco Moretti, and Professor Luca Sanguinetti. I have published nine international journal papers and three international conference papers. Uh, and next, I plan to go to the University of Pisa at the end of February this year to continue my PhD program. And uh, I think as a PhD student, we should actively go to other university for joint supervision to learn their latest research ideas and uh, advanced uh, research method. And uh, this is my publication list as the first author. I have introduced them earlier. And uh, and, and this is a, a publication list as the first author. And in this works, I mainly help my supervisor, Professor Richard, to do some summarizations or help the masters in our group to revise their paper. And uh, that's all I want to share with you. Thank you very much. And if you have any question and uh, uh, you are interested in my research subject, uh, I'm very much welcome you. Uh, well, I'm very much welcome you to communicate with me by email. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Miss uh, Miss Wen Chuan Long. It's very good sharing and very interesting uh, topic. So it's question time. Is there anyone who have a question about the topic that uh, Ms. Wenxuanlong Long shared with you? You can turn on your camera, uh, turn on your uh, microphone. Okay. I have a question. Uh, sure, please. Uh, in orbital angular momentum, there is something that is called mood. I want to know if I increase the mood, will it increase the capacity in communication rate? I, I'm sorry, pardon? For the OM, there is something oh. called mood. If I oh. increase the mood, will it increase the capacity in communication links? Um, if I um, keep increasing the mood, will it increase the capacity or it will reach to some limit then immediately drop? Um, uh, let me see how to say that. Um, the the mode is depends on the uh, numbers of the element in the uniform circular array. If we use uh, n elements in the uniform circular array, and uh, we can obtain at most the n OM modes in the OM communication system. OK, Gary, thank you so much. OK, thank you for the questions. Thank you again for Mr.